What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you are doing well. In this module, we're going to be covering operators in programming. So we got a brief introduction in the last video to this when we did things like X times Y. The operator in that case would be the multiplication symbol. So we have a bunch of different operators and types of operators, and that's what we're going to be covering in this video. So let's go ahead and get started now. So before we hop into the code, guys, let's take a look at the formal definition of an operator. So it's basically a special symbol or phrase that you can use to combine or change values. So we've already seen some examples of this, right? The most basic example are binary operators where they're simple mathematical operations. We can say X plus Y, X minus Y, X times Y, or X divided by Y, where X and Y are number values. Another example of an operator that we've seen that's a little bit more subtle is something called the assignment operator. So it's a single equal sign, right? So basically the assignment operator sets the left side param equal to the right side value. So basically what this is saying in plain English is that we are creating a variable and we are assigning this variable first name to the value of Stefan. And for this guy with X and two, we are assigning the value of two to the variable name X. So that's a simple example of an assignment operator. And there's actually a couple more different operation types that we're going to be looking at once we hop into the code which we're about to do right now so let's go ahead and hop into xcode and get started so to start this off guys let's go ahead and create a new playground so right click on your bootcamp file name and hit new file and in the filter up here at the top once again just go ahead and search for blank and create a blank playground hit next and we're going to call it operators just like that and let's go ahead and paste our notes in up at the top. You guys should pause the video to type this out. We don't need this UI kit import right there, but basically operators are special symbols or phrases that allow you to check, change, or combine values. So let's go ahead and just do uh, create a couple sections here. So let's delete this greeting. And the first section we're gonna have guys is the assignment operator. So this is something that we saw back in our variables playground. It's pretty simple. We just say like, hey, var first name equals Stefan. And in this case, the equal sign is the assignment operator, right? Or var x equals six. It's assigning the value of six to the variable name x. Okay, so that's our assignment operator. And then let's create another mark here for our binary operator. So all this stuff is pretty straightforward, guys. This is gonna start getting juicy in just a little bit where we're gonna introduce some new operation types that are gonna allow us to do some pretty interesting stuff. So these are the basic, you know, plus, minus, times, and divided by. So we could simply, let's, uh, let me go up here and create another variable y. I could make this like 10. And you know, we have X plus Y, X minus Y, X times Y, and X divided by Y. Let's actually make these, uh, make it so that these, the X divided by Y can work out. So I could make this like 20, right? And then let's just run our program to make sure everything is running smoothly and pay attention to what you get on the right. Okay, so we don't have to print any of these values. Our console isn't actually giving us back anything, but this right side menu is just giving us back the value of all of these expressions. So 10 plus 20 is 30, 10, 20 minus 10 is 10, and then you know the multiplying is 200, and then 20 divided by 10 is two. So those are the basic mathematical operations. Another pretty cool one that we have is something called a modulo operator. So I could say like X percent Y. And you guys might be wondering, you know, what the heck does that do? That looks kind of weird. And this will actually give me back the remainder of the result of the division between the two things. So let's just add a comment here. You can just say remainder. So for example, guys, if I made this 25 and ran my code, X percent Y would give me back five because the remainder of 25 divided by 10 is five. So that's another interesting binary operator there. 
So another interesting example of how to use binary operators, guys, is to notice that we can actually apply the plus operator to a string data type. So really quickly, I want us to just go ahead and create another variable here called last, oops, I'm in all caps, var last name equals Dowless. And let's see what happens when I say first name plus last name. So this will actually act as a concatenator, okay? So it'll actually just combine those two things. So you can see it gives me back Stefan Dowless. And, you know, there's a certain way to apply spacing between the two things, but we're not really gonna worry about that right now. I just wanted to show you guys that you can apply certain binary operators to strings. Mainly it's really just this plus guy because the plus serves as a concatenator or a com uh, like a combiner between the two strings. So uh, next up, let's create a new section, guys. Uh, We're gonna call this compound assignment operators, okay? So I'm gonna create another variable here. Let's just call it C, and I'm gonna say it's equal to one. And let's go ahead and type this out. Say C plus equals two. And let's go ahead and see what that gives us back. So C plus equals two gives us back three. If I made this five, C plus equals two would give me back seven. Uh, let me run that really quickly. Yep, five, seven. If I made it 10, I'm sure you guys could guess by now that it would give me back 12. So what exactly is this compound assignment operator doing? It's saying, hey, take the current value of the variable and then add two to it and make that the new value of the variable, right? So it's saying, that this is simply just equal to C equals C plus two. So it's saying that the new value of C is equal to the current value of C plus two, which gives you back 10 plus two, which equals 12, which is why this ultimately evaluates to 12. So I want you guys to try to figure out what the value of this would be. If I said C times equals two, that's actually gonna give me back 24. So if I run this, You'll notice that 24 shows up on the side. You might think it would be 20, right? But you have to understand that we have reassigned the value of C to be two to be two greater than what it originally was. So it went from 10 to 12. So then when we say C times equals two, we get back 24 because 12 times two is 24. So to really solidify this concept, guys, I wanna show you a real life example of how you might use a compound assignment operator in a real life mobile app. So. I'm gonna bring up this mock version of Instagram that I have built myself, and this is actually something that we are going to be building in this bootcamp as well. And yes, that is actually me racing a motorcycle, which is kind of cool. But anyway, I want us to pay attention to this likes parameter here, right? So we see that right now my post has one like. If I were to like this post, it would go to two likes, right? So we have to think about how that works programmatically, right? We have to look at the pre-existing value, which is one, and then we wanna add a we wanna add one to that pre-existing value. So one plus one would equal two, right? So if I like this, it goes to two. And similarly, if I were to unlike it, it would go back down to one. So Basically, guys, let's modify this example that we have here to mimic what we see in the application. So I could maybe create this variable to be likes and I could make it equal to one, which is what it was currently at when we were looking at the app. And then I could say, hey, if I like the post, likes plus equals one, and this is equivalent to liking a post. And then if I unlike it, I would say likes minus equals one, which is unliking the post. So. The only thing you really need to take away here, guys, is it just performs some operation on the existing value of the parameter, in this case, likes, and reassigns it to be that new value, right? So likes goes from one to two, or from two back down to one. So that is an example of how you would use a compound assignment operator in a real life mobile application. So next up guys, we have our last type of operator and it's known as a comparison operator. So it's simply operators that are going to allow us to compare values to each other. And this is something that you've done literally since third grade. Hey, 
is this number greater than this number? Is this number less than this number? Is this number equal to this number? Is this number not equal to this number? So on and so forth. So let's go ahead and make a new section for this and call it comparison operators, okay? So first up, we're gonna have is equal to. So I could say, like, let's refer back to X and Y. I could say X equal equal Y. And what this is saying is, checks if x is equal to y. So the double equal sign here will simply check if x and y are equal to each other. And something interesting about comparison operator guys is that they evaluate to true or false. So they give us back a Boolean variable, right? So basically what this statement is saying is, hey, if x and y are equal to each other, it's true. If they're not, it's false. So Pay attention to the right side menu here when, when I run the code saying X and Y, we're checking if they're equal to each other and it gives me back false. If I make them equal to each other by saying like X is 25 and Y is 25, then it will give me back true, okay? I'm gonna change this back to 10 just so we can see examples of how the other stuff works. So I could also say, hey, check if X is not equal to Y checks if x is not equal to y. Can't type right now, sorry guys. My microphone is like in the way. Um, but basically this will evaluate to true if x and y are not equal to each other. So it'll basically just be the opposite of this, right? So in this case, x and y are not equal to each other, so this evaluates the true. So another one is x greater than y checks if x is greater than y. And this will obviously evaluate to true because 25 is greater than 10. And then we could have like x is less than y, x greater than or equal to y, x less than or equal to y. And I think the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory, right guys? So this will check if X is less than Y. This will check if X is greater than or equal to Y. This will check if X is less than or equal to Y. So the interesting thing to note about comparison operators is they evaluate to either true or false. So how might that help us out, right? So imagine we're writing some sort of like trading algorithm where we want to program some algorithm to buy and sell stocks at certain points. Well, you would use comparison operators to do that, right? You would say, hey, if the current price is less than 20 bucks, buy the stock. If the current price of the stock is greater than 20 bucks, sell the stock, right? Or hey, if the current price of the stock equals 30 bucks, sell it if the current price of the stock equals 10 bucks, buy it. So you would use comparison operators to do that and you could ultimately perform certain operations based on whether or not those conditions are met, whether they evaluate to true or false. So that just gives you guys an idea of how we might utilize comparison operators. So that is gonna wrap it up for our module on operators, guys. We went over a bunch of different types, including assignment operators, binary operators, compound assignment operators and comparison operators. And we went over some examples of each and how they would be used in real life mobile applications. So we're gonna be getting plenty of practice with this stuff as time goes on. So if you don't have a full complete grasp of it just yet, which I don't expect you to, don't worry about it. I'm telling you, don't stress yourself out about it. We're gonna get so much practice with this stuff as the course goes on. So thanks for watching this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.